The only way the title can change hands is if the champion Anthony Gangon's shoulders are pinned for the one, two, or three. <laughs> Sonny Ono asked me, he asked, who names their kid Moron? Ding, ding, ding. Johnny Q says, let's do this. This is your bootleg version, a triple threat match for the TCW Heavyweight Championship and a stipulation put together by both the CEO, Billy Fetsky, and our general manager, S.P. Anderson. The only way the title can change hands is if the champion, Anthony Gangone's shoulders are the ones on the map for one, two, three. A very interesting stipulation. And I think that's a slap in the face to Johnny Moran, who's been a thorn in the side of both the general manager and the CEO for several months now. Johnny Moran, a former TCW heavyweight champion, at one time failed to defend that title. He was stripped of the title. And Anthony Gangone at one time defeated public enemy number one, TJ Marconi, in a last man standing match. A little bit of gorilla tape, taping the wrist of TJ Marconi to the bottom rope. 
That's how he kept him down for 10 seconds. And now, I like this strategy by Ultimo Dragon. Let the moron, quote unquote, and the champion fight it out. While Ultimo Dragon has Sonny Ono in his corner, the X Factor for Johnny Marin could be Aaron Roxas. The man they call Crossfire. As I mentioned earlier, this is your bootleg version, David Adams here. For the official version, check out Mob Fight TV, a degenerate media presentation. Thank you to Danny Walsh and his film crew. Our official commentary team is Alex Aceta. We've got Peter Rosado, and we have Alphonse Stevens doing the official commentary. Go win it right here! A perfect example of Johnny Moran would have pinned Anthony Gangone. Title changes hands, but it's not meant to be on that exchange. And Anthony Gangone did not have a challenger last month, and it was Johnny Moran and his crony, Aaron Roxas, that jumped Anthony Gangone. And that's how we came to the decision here to add Moran to this match. And Ultimo Dragon, he deserves a heavyweight title shot anywhere in the world today. And I want to put it out here. It was explained to us in the pre-show meeting, Ultimo Dragon had several travel delays to get here. He had to take plane after plane, flying way out of his way to come all the way back here to Aberdeen. Thank you for keeping your booking. You're a true professional. And a big bad body drop from Ultimo Dragon. You know, a lot of times if the travel falls through, people bail and we have to, you know, card subject to change. Ultimo Dragon, a man of his word, honored this booking. Our biggest show ever here at Rise of the Titans. Now, I'd like to thank him for his credibility as well as his professionalism. And now, Ultimo Dragon, a legend. He's just got Dr. Sleep tied up like a damn pretzel. Man, oh man, that'll do some torque on the ACL. The MCL, man, oh man, a champion that can't walk is a champion that can barely fight. And just like that, Johnny Moran capitalizing on Dragon, not paying attention there to him. Triple threat, man, you gotta have your eyes in the back of your head. Ultimo Dragon temporarily uh, placed to the outside here, out of the equation. What's Aaron Roxas gonna do? Ultimo Dragon has forgotten more than you've ever learned in this business, brother. Oh, come on. And Sonny Ono putting the boots right to Roxas. Oh my God, let's take a selfie, baby. Love it. And there's a big running knee strike. Dr. Sleep to retain.
Heavyweight champion. 